conduct more live fire exercises near Ukraine's border and continue to build up tanks, fighter jets, warships, and missile launchers around the country's borders. President Biden once again called Ukraine's President Zelensky, promising economic support. President Biden and NATO members have repeatedly said no troops will be coming to Ukraine's assistance. But it's increasingly clear the Biden administration and President Zelensky don't agree on the risk of a Russian invasion. We've always said and said for quite some time that uh, an, another incursion by uh, Russia could be imminent. And imminent means imminent. President Biden, along with most European leaders, has warned with so much force assembled, a Russian invasion should be expected. My guess is he will move in. With the chances of a Russian attack increasing, a Western intelligence official tells us, as Vladimir Putin mobilizes more troops over the next two to three weeks for exercises in Belarus. President Zelensky has told his people there's no unusual risk and blamed the United States for stirring panic. It's left many Ukrainians not knowing what to do. There are no public orders for drilling, no mass call-ups of reserves, no tests of emergency response systems, just life as normal. It seems there will be no military invasion, says Marina. I believe this. I want to believe this. Some Ukrainians accuse President Zelensky of publicly urging calm to bolster his own support as he's challenged politically by Ukraine's former president and ex-champion boxer, now Kiev mayor, Vitaly Klitschko. It's not an option to relax and stay calm. Things could explode at any minute, says Alexander Vizirov, an army veteran. But ignore it or not, the threat U.S. and NATO officials say is real and mounting. The door to diplomacy is still not closed. Today, the French president spoke with Russia's Vladimir Putin, and Russia's foreign minister says it is still studying a written response that the United States and NATO gave to Russia. So the possibility of talks is still, is still there, Savannah. All right, Richard Engel in Ukraine for us. Thank you, Richard. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.